right, good Monday evening, everyone. It's weather for Weather Geeks time. We're in the middle of a really tropical uh, stretch of weather, but things will change towards the end of this week. If you're kind of tired of this, and I know a lot of us are, uh, your patience will be rewarded in a big way at the end of this week and into that first weekend of August. But today, just like yesterday, pretty oppressive out there. Air temperatures got into the upper 80s. We made a run at 90 in most spots. The heat index was not much higher than the air temperature today because the dew points were not 70 or 72 degrees most of the day. The dew points were mostly in the middle and upper 60s. Still tropical, still humid, but it could have been worse. And it may be a little bit worse uh, coming up for our Tuesday. We'll show you those numbers in just a moment. In the meantime, this weekend, I had a chance to go up to Geneva on the Lake in the Ashtabula area, and boy, I noticed a lot of yards were really, really dry up there. Now, around our TV viewing area, we have some dry yards in some spots as well, but it was really especially noticeable up near the Lake Erie shoreline in Ashtabula and Lake Counties. In our TV viewing area, over the last 30 days, the driest spots have kind of been in our most populated areas in a lot of our viewing area. That would be the Warren, Niles, Vienna area, down to Youngstown, almost down to the 224 corridor as well. Other areas, drier than average, certainly yes, but maybe not uh, quite as much uh, below the average as a place like Warren and Niles and Girard and Youngstown and Liberty and places like that. It's It's gotten kind of dry over the last month, which is in stark contrast to the general tenor of our weather earlier on in the spring and early summer seasons. Now we have gotten plenty of rain in parts of northern Ohio over the last several hours as a big line of thunderstorms moved from Michigan across Lake Erie and dropped up to a few inches worth of rain in parts of northern Ohio. Here's Cleveland over here. The Guardian's in a rain delay this evening. Uh, but uh, yeah, out here, especially western suburbs of Cleveland and out towards Sandusky in the Cedar Point area, two, three inches of rain, pretty common. Uh, with these thunderstorms out in that neck of the woods. Now I'm recording this video at 7.15 and uh, we have this, you know, kind of intimidating looking line of showers and thunderstorms. Now, for our viewing area specifically, I think we're going to see some changes over the next half an hour to 45 minutes. A lot of this is going to weaken and a lot of this is going to try to dive a little bit south of, you know, kind of Interstate 80, if you will. Uh, you know, Route 11 is about right here. If you're west of Route 11, you have the best chance of seeing some rain and hearing some thunder and getting a few claps of lightning this evening. If you're east of Route 11 and closer to the state line and certainly over into western PA, uh, your chances are lower of picking up much in the way of uh, interesting weather this evening. And actually, speaking of interesting weather, there is one section of this line that has a tornado warning on it as of 716. Now, the circulation that prompted this warning has weakened considerably ever since they issued the warning. The warning runs until 7.30, so about 14 minutes after the recording of this video. Uh, this warning out for areas uh, west of I-77, west of Canton, west of Akron. You can see all the thunder and lightning with this. So again, it, it depends on where you are this evening. The closer you are to Route 11 and especially west of there, the better chance you have of getting some rain and some thunder and lightning. If you're east of Youngstown, east of East Liverpool and over towards Newcastle, Mercer, Sharon, places like that, your chances are lower, I think, of getting much in the way of wet weather and thunder and lightning this evening. High resolution future cast, this is a computer model projection of things. You know, we, it shows us getting clipped by a little bit of rain as these storms uh, weaken some as we head towards uh, sunset and into the overnight. And we may have some fog setting up as we go into the overnight, kind of like we did last night and this morning. Mentioned those heat index values earlier on today peaked officially in the lower 90s. We could see, you know, readings a little higher on Tuesday because I think the dew points will probably be on average a few degrees higher. The air temperature might also be a couple of degrees higher than it was today. So, you know, the heat index locally, middle, upper 90s will be a possibility. Certainly high enough that if you have to work outdoors, exert yourself outdoors, anything like that, football practices and all that stuff that goes on at this time of the year, it's a day for common sense. A lot of more frequent breaks, of course, and more hydration than you're used to taking in. So any fog that's out there tomorrow morning, we'll lose. We'll have a good deal of sun for the afternoon. It'll be pretty much a repeat of today. Now, Wednesday, we do have a small chance of a shower and thunderstorm in our afternoon forecast. Let me back up Wednesday's model depiction here. You know, it's not going to be much, but I could see where a popcorn variety shower or a thunderstorm tries to pop up, you know, late afternoon, early evening. It'll be a low coverage type of thing. It's not going to be a big wall of storms like we have off to our west on this Monday evening. And I think the most active day of the week is likely to be Thursday as our cold front finally starts making some southward progress. This will uh, enhance the chances of showers and storms on Thursday, but this is the front that will bring a much welcomed change by Thursday night 
and into Friday and the weekend. You know, the next couple of days, 48 hours or so, still a tropical feel to the air, the same air mass that's often in place you know, in the spring and summer in a place like Orlando, Atlanta, Savannah, Georgia, even Miami. Um, that air mass is still going to be in place for much of the time, all the way through Wednesday, even maybe parts of Thursday. There are some model differences on the exact timing of Thursday's front. This model is a little bit slower than some of the other modeling and would suggest that we're still pretty humid on Thursday. That may be right, but at some point between Thursday and Thursday night, the front is going to come through. And what a change it's going to be. The dew points are going to drop like a rock, and the weather looks absolutely perfect for Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Here's one model depiction of the dew points in the afternoon hours for those days. Dew points in the lower 50s after dealing with what we're dealing with now, that's going to feel amazing. And I think it'll be accompanied by a lot of sun. And you know, with air that dry, the overnight hours will be very comfortable as well. If you remember the air mass we had a week ago, which we could open up the windows, get some fresh air, it cooled off nicely at night. We're going to have a repeat of that coming up uh, as we ring in the month of August. So high temperatures compared to the average, a handful of degrees below the average into the weekend. Now, what lies beyond that? I think the heat's going to come back. It may not be as hot as and humid as our current air mass, but... You know, from about the 4th and 5th onwards, you know, I think we're looking at, you know, pretty consistent 80 degree plus days. Um, so enjoy this uh, treat that we have coming our way at the end of this week and into that first weekend of August. Again, it is going to feel magnificent for at least a few days. In the meantime, I'll keep you updated on what's on the radar this evening on social media and have an update on the forecast and much, much more tonight on 21 News at 11 p.m. Have a great rest of your night and I'll see you back here on Tuesday.